क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ए ब्लॉक ए वेइंग हंड्रेड न्यूटन इज पुल्ड अप बाय अ स्लोप ऑफ लेंथ फाइव मीटर बाय मींस ऑफ ए कांस्टेंट फोर्स एफ इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड न्यूटन आज इलेस्ट्रेटेड इन फिगर ए पार्ट व्हाट इज द वर्क डन बाय इट्स फोर्स एफ इन मूविंग द ब्लॉक ए फाइव मीटर अलोंग द स्लोप बी पार्ट व्हाट इज द इंक्रीज इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ द ब्लॉक एंड सी पार्ट अकाउंट फॉर द डिफरेंस इन द वर्क डन बाय द फोर्स and the increase in potential energy of the block this is an easy question only looks like a tough one first of all let us write the values given in the question given that w equal to 100 newton f equal to 100 newton and displacement is equal to 5 meter height is equal to 3 meter so now let us do part a in part a we have to find out work done in moving the block 5 meter along the slope we can see that force and displacement are in the same direction so the formula work done equal to force into displacement putting values force is equal to 100 and displacement is equal to 5 meter we get 100 into 5 is equal to 500 joules now b part increase in potential energy we can see that initial potential energy of the block is zero because initial height is zero so increase in potential energy is equal to final potential energy minus initial potential energy final potential energy minus zero that is equal to final potential energy so let us find final potential energy potential energy is equal to mgh and we know weight is equal to mass into gravity so potential energy is equal to weight into height that is equal to 100 into 3 that is equal to 300 joules now c part account for the difference in the work done by the force and the increase in potential energy of the block here we have already found out work done is equal to 500 joules potential energy is equal to 300 joules therefore difference is equal to 500 minus 300 which is equal to 200 joules this 200 joules of energy has used to overcome friction between the block and slope while moving it from bottom to the top